was that a quick follow up on what what I've updated. So, uh, all right. First, I'm gonna show you guys this one, cause my it's my loadout page after all. Um, obviously, it's hard to see, so I'm just gonna enlarge that. Okay, first, this I know this is I don't really have to explain this. You can just watch my old video for that. So, the recent update was this two major overhaul I did, which was my Hades, because obviously you guys know. Olivia Swords is a thing. I have four of them, but I've only upgraded three because I don't think I need a fourth one. The idea was just get three, not four. <laughs> but I managed luck shit four, so okay. <laughs> so this, okay. I know chat is getting blocked, but whatever. I don't think you need to see what summons it is anyway, because it's the same most of the time. I know this was recently added. I got my SR Death recently. But besides that, uh, I'm using three three Gislas and three Olivia swords here, and it's a lot better to still have Zoe in here after me playing this grid for quite some time. This is like the the so-called testing testing a grid that I had before I even put out like uh, the use of uh, Ultima and Akasha weapons and stuff, right? So what happened is that I literally just went with no Ultima, no Akasha at all. So I want to try this. With Olivia's Swords, it seems to be pretty damn nice. Like, my damage is way higher because like, I still Conjunction in turn 1 anyway, right? Like in majority of the raids, like Metatron or whatever. I still Conjunction in turn 1. And by the end of 4 turns, I'm at like probably 70-60% or whatever. And, and that amount of HP, I'm still doing relatively high amount of damage compared to before when I had none of these which is, let me show you real quick, this was the one this one here where it was just 3 Gislas and probably, this was a Cerberus gun here and then I just put like Kirin weapons, this Magna stuff for no reason and put an extra enmity here it's pretty shit. It's like my damage is just really, really bad uh, when I do that. I mean, it, this was before Olivia Swords was a thing, right? So with the help of 3 Olivia Swords, it did help significantly. Like at 60 70 percent my damage just skyrocketed a little bit. Not a little bit, skyrocketed a little bit. That's just redundant words, just ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah. I'm probably going to just have this. I feel like this is nice enough for me for a certain degree. Because it seems solid enough for like standard ish. Standard ish raids, I guess. I, I'm not sure how to say it, but it seems okay. Because like when. Because probably when Seraphic comes, I may just reduce. Not reduce. <laughs> remove. Probably either a Cerberus gun. Or a Kirin sword for the Seraphic weapon itself for this specific grin. I may actually do that, but we will see. And yeah, I think that's really about it. But this is mostly for dagger class main hands because uh, Parazonium is so freaking balanced, right? So yeah, I'm always using Parazonium these days because I have also made that. I think that's the other biggest difference that I had compared to like my old Hades grin because I don't even have Parazonium back then. So, even though I had it, I just didn't upgrade it until recently. So, yeah. So anyway, this is the other team that I was really testing. Because I was somehow influenced by a YouTube video. <laughs> because like, hmm, he didn't use that many swords. And he doesn't have that many Gizlas. Hmm, maybe I can make it work as well. And I actually sub the uh, Wolf just for this. Just to test this out and it seems to work I tried it before it seems to work and why not right <laughs> it's like because the uh, the reason why I'm using doctor here is that doctor has a uh, you can use daggers on it obviously and Parasonium is just too damn good to pass out and uh, 
the stamina buff, I forgot the nutrients, I think that's what it's called. The, the stamina buff from Doctor is really, really nice. And the extra sustain and clear from skill 1 is kind of like a plus, I guess. It's like, don't don't really need that, but it's nice. So, my main idea or main idea for this lineup was that my MC is the support. My MC probably just doesn't do any damage at all. The main DPS there is 6 Orchid and Wolf, right? If I had, I was actually thinking of putting Azazel in there at first, but because this team is heavily focused on autos, right? So I just left it with uh, Orkin in there because Orkin can do relatively nice damage too. So yeah, that's why. Um, besides that, I'm not using Zoe in this because with the help of Ultima, if you're wondering what Ultima I'm using, I'm using uh, Stamina and Auto Cap. So with the help of Ultima, it does look like I can do a very significant extra damage even though I'm at full HP. There are times, not there are times, there are, I do feel like on average I can cap relatively well at full HP. So it's like I can really say goodbye to Zoe for this Fist lineup because I did make, I just made, I mean I did made an Ultima Fist 3 weeks ago I think. And I just left it rotting there. <laughs> and not to mention we have the whole Akasha Hollow Sky thing being added in, right? So I finally am able to use that. So why not, right? I still want to add more like lineups for Dark because I haven't exactly tested it yet because I did wanted to test this. Like I know this was like my full fist lineup, right? I haven't act I have not exactly tried this out yet. I should one day. <laughs> because this is like just full on DPS. No support MC or whatever. I've not tried and see how well this works or perform yet. It probably sucks, I don't know. But we will see, right? <laughs> so the other thing the other thing I added in is the, the full not full. Three quarter full. 99% full. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. 99% and full doesn't even... Never mind. So what I added in was uh, my Guild War 1 turn EX plus mechanic whatever lineup. Basically that whole 1 turn EX plus for Guild War because now we have... The upcoming Guild War is gonna include Elemental Resist, right? So I add... All of those in except for light because I am not confirmed on my light yet I do have it but it doesn't seem to be consistent yet so I'm not sure <laughs> my light still sucks on the, the whole one thing get war shit okay so yeah I do have my dark I do have dark dark fire or water wind and earth only fire only light I do not have it uh, yes so the other thing is that I finally updated my light because I finished two bows and I have two daggers and I have one Eden. I guess that works. No Ultima, no Akasha in there because it seems to be doing fine. <laughs> I could probably fit in Ultima in there because uh, I'm using a lineup that has a very mumbo jumbo weapon proficiency since I'm using Amira, Zoe, and Fun Fun most of the time these days. So I don't really, hmm, you know, yeah, it's like I'm fine. It's fine, right? <laughs> Who needs Ultima? <laughs> um, other short change was the my win. Dagger class ish, I removed both Baha and Xeno weapon because I do not need Xeno weapons to actually do damage. <laughs> because I can cap just fine with just uh, three guns and three harps, right? I am planning to make a third gun to five stars. I have not done that yet. I'm on my way to doing that because I neglected Grimnir for a long time because I was trying to farm avatar and 
Metatron at one point. Then uh, now, I'm, now I'm done with those two. I don't need to farm them anymore. So now I'm going back to Grimnir. So uh, besides that, Bahala weapons doesn't really... It's not really required anymore. That's why. Then I have... Rise of the Beast Spear in there instead because... The cap does a lot better anyway. So, yeah. Um, spear classes is the same. Uh, yeah, spear classes is the same. Uh, shiny lineup is still the same. Pretty sure if you've seen my vods recently, I'm, or you were in stream, you you saw me doing this yesterday, right? <laughs> I was literally using this team, except this is Monica instead of uh, Samajan. Yeah, I was playing a lot of win yesterday. If you didn't, if you didn't see it. Can just go check out my yes my yesterday's vod. Um yeah, this is my mechanic for a win. Alright, I even included like the the, the the steps or the amount of buttons I need to press for my mechanic. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so this is the other thing that people keep asking me. Excuse me, why is my fucking Titan grid still here? Because for some reason, people are still asking me about Titan free to play grids. For some reason, people still want to play that. So I left it in there. Because this used to be my grid in... 20s, early, early to mid-2017, I think. I think it was around mid-2017. I was using this. Yeah. And then when Magna 2 came out, bye-bye. <laughs> That's why I added this disclaimer. Just, just, just don't. <laughs> just, just don't. Just don't use it. It's, it's a waste of uh, time farming those stuff. But uh, besides that, I did update my. I didn't realize I actually had a change in my shiny for Earth because I did not realize that I had previously I had a Baha weapon in there. But because I don't really need a Baha weapon in there, so I removed it. I removed it for the. The Rise of the Beast face to give me extra cap, right? Why not? Besides that, no change. Oh wait. Typhoon. Typhoon. Typhoon was the change. <laughs> Besides that, Typhoon was the change. Yes, Typhoon was the change. Then uh, my Earth mechanic. Then the other biggest change was my Fire because I'm sure if you guys seen all my recent luck shitting skills on my stream or YouTube. I have a full spirit team now, and it works wonderfully. Yeah, it's a full MET team. I can still hit relatively well at full HP because I have very, very, very balanced characters in my lineup, which is these two. <laughs> so yes, that's why. But besides that, I am still going to make the Akasha video. Just. Just be a little bit more patient on that. <laughs> yes. I'll do a more explanation on the Akasha weapons very soon. Very, very soon. And yes, this is my Nighthound one turn shit. It's, it sucks, but I still, do, still use this anyway. <laughs> I could probably do that with my mechanic right now. Because I do have a mechanic lineup for my fire. Yes. I'm pretty sure I can do that with this. I probably just need to press more buttons. Probably similar amount of buttons as the... The other one that I listed down. I was like, eh. It's fine. It's okay. The other thing is that this team does... You can do... Quite a lot more damage because it is Nighthound. You can nuke more. And then you're basically autoing with Shiva and stuff. So you can technically do way more than... 16 million damage kind of thing if you want by all means use it the whole zoe and uh bianta combo shit it works but it, yeah it gets the job done right besides that my water did not change at all the other thing i only added for water is the mechanic so-called mechanic one turn lineup thing but because i do not have a proper mechanic lineup for my water all thanks to not having a certain Zodiac character, which I will not see until next year. <laughs> I ended up just using uh, Lucador, 
wrestler, whatever. I can still hit the 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 amount just fine, so it's like why not, right? And yeah. Wow, so much so many new characters. Hey hey. Besides that, like moving on, what I'm planning to do for each element is like number one is obviously get the Akaram summons. That's one. Then number two I will try to get is more like not try to get, I will be getting stupid phone <laughs> is uh my third five star gun for win. That was the the other plan that I'm doing right now. Besides that, I don't think I really have much else to change because it's all like free to play shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really plan to change anything. My fire seems to be okay already. There's no reason for me to change anything, to be frankly honest. Besides, um... Let me see. Probably just my dark. Because my dark is the only we the only element that I have that is full primal. I'm not gonna bother with uh, Celeste Magna anymore for dark, so yeah. So that's it, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Hope you guys enjoy that. The Pega. Uh I'm not sure how helpful will this be, but this is kinda like a an update on my progression, I guess. It's starting to be a full dead game, Pepega. 